Miami is the hottest spot in the country tonight when it comes to politics. Tonight's the first of two debates between Democratic candidates hoping to represent their party. From college debt to immigration, all 20 candidates will have to convince voters that they should challenge President Trump in 2020. So the first 10 we're going to hear from tonight are Elizabeth Warren, Cory Booker, Beto O'Rourke, Amy Klobuchar, Julian Castro, Bill de Blasio, John Delaney, Tulsi Gabbard, Tim Ryan, and Jay Inslee. No question, Florida's minority vote will play a huge part, Allison, in the presidential election. The location of the debates themselves, it's certainly no accident. They're being held right between one of Miami's most affluent neighborhoods and some of its most economically challenged as well. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser takes a look at the importance of the African-American vote in the upcoming 2020 election and why both parties are working so hard to win over those voters. In parts of Tampa Bay, where African-Americans make up a strong voting bloc, the Democratic debates should be of big interest. Uh, right now, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not following politics right now. But, but clearly, Democratic candidates working hard to garner Florida's minority vote still have a lot of work to do here. It's a, it's a huge field. It's, actually, it's too big on the Democratic side. I hope they narrow it down quickly. 10 News political experts say Democrats need to be worried about anything other than a strong turnout among Florida's African Americans. Just look at 2012 when President Obama was reelected, winning the state of Florida, versus the turnout in 2016 when Hillary Clinton lost to Trump. And had the minority turnout been as strong in the last presidential race as it was for the Barack Obama races, we would have a different circumstance and a different president. This will be the election. Since then, President Trump has made a strong argument to lure African Americans to his campaign, citing the lowest unemployment rate in decades. Groups like Blacks for Trump have even sprung up at GOP political rallies. Oh, absolutely. You, you cannot win with a white vote alone. During the recent midterm elections, political consultants told us that in order to win the Sunshine State, candidates would have to first weave a coalition of Florida's diverse minority populations. Groups out there like Next Gen Florida are working to do that right now with voter registration drives. We're out every day in this 100 degree heat, you know, trying to engage voters and to make sure that they are voting in 2020. But ethnicity alone was not enough to propel African American gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum to a win in 2018. Ron DeSantis defeated Gillum by a slim margin, suggesting Florida's minority voters might need to be motivated by something or someone who hasn't instilled that level of engagement since Obama won Florida in 2012. If, if the message is if the message is loud enough that I can make my voice heard, I'll definitely get out there. It's going to be important in our area as well. Now tonight's debate starts at nine o'clock in Miami, but there are several watch parties scheduled right here in the Tampa Bay area. We're going to bring you the highlights and reaction to those first two debates coming up tonight on 10 News Nighttime.